She has been a part of our Hallmark family for years, and she's now starring in the new Hallmark Channel countdown to summer film, A Feeling of Home. Please welcome back to our home, our very good friend, Mary Margaret Hume. Welcome Hi, back. Guys. Welcome, Mary so Margaret. Nice. Glad to see you. I'm so excited to see you. Somebody please adopt Harley. Don't make me take That's him. right. That's <laughs> right. That's what we were talking about. I think Harley should go with you. That's oh. a beautiful oh, dog. Oh, sure. Beautiful. All right, Mary Margaret, let's mm. talk about this beautiful yeah. movie. Sure. So, Jonna Walsh mm -hmm. plays your daughter, yes. Abby, mm -hmm. and she is basically summoned back to the farm where her father lives, a Texas farm. He's a Texas rancher. Right. You play Jonna's mother, mm -hmm. Constance. Right. How does she feel, fit into the, the film? Um, well, I actually live in New England with my daughter because that's where she went to school. And my daughter has been producing on her own these little webisodes all about New England lifestyle. Everything New England. However, um, she is actually from Texas. Uh -oh. And there's a problem because there's a corporate businessman who now wants to produce everything for her. And on her own, she has grabbed something like 4 million Instagram followers. So he really wants to take her over the top. But everything has to be authentic Which it is New not. England. And it's well, not because exactly. my daughter was born and raised in Texas. Uh -oh. Which is the problem. We've, got, the we've problem. actually got a clip right. of just that, of Constance trying to, uh, well, in a sense, convince Abby to recreate her past, right. but then also delivering some news about her father that doesn't sit too well with Abby. Right, and that's going to send her off in a whole new direction. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, let's take a look. I know this timing is terrible, but I got a phone call earlier from Janet Miller's mother. Do you remember Janet? Yeah, we were cheerleaders together at Langston. Sure. Well, she wanted us to know that your father fell off his horse yesterday. Oh, no. Is he okay? Oh, no, he's fine. He just hurt his shoulder, but he's going to have to take it easy for the next week or two, and uh, you know your father. Right. That is not going to happen. <laughs> is there any chance that you might be able to fly out and help him for maybe a week or two? <sighs> Mom, it can be so awkward between me and Dad. You know he loves you. But nothing I do pleases him. He finds some fault in everything. Oh, I think that's just in your head. But if you believe that, look at it like a chance to mend fences. Did you? Did we you were just saying it? how nice, we were just talking about how nice it looked. What a beautiful scene. Oh, thank A nice you. dynamic, of course, in the chemistry between oh, you two, but also you. just visually beautiful. Looks oh, thank it's you. It's such a great film, it really does. Thank you. We were talking to Robbie a little bit earlier about mm -hmm. the similarities between him and his character, Wes. Right. And the same isn't exactly the case for you and your character, Constance, is it? I mean, it's uh, quite uh, polar opposites, maybe? Uh, yeah, not okay. so much. It's, it, it's <laughs> funny because, um, I'm not really a girly girl um, or a girly woman. Uh, I'm more of a tomboy. You I never know that. Right. Yeah, no, I'm cowboy boots and blue jeans I and like t-shirts. And I was joking with her that I actually would have been better suited in the Texas portion of this film. Um, and uh, in this film, I wear pearls and I throw dinner parties and I'm upper crust. And in real life, I'm more like sit around the fire pit in the backyard in oh, pajamas with the s'mores over the um, the, that, the flames. And I'm actually I'm going to have all of my friends oh. over from oh. Hallmark. Oh. oh, that's there my you go. There you that's go. what I'm and talking about. Which was just uh, alluding to the fact that you're such a great actress. I mean, being able to play that part. Of course, we completely believe it. Well, and in the meantime, sure. you'd rather be in your pajamas roasting marshmallows. Absolutely. Y'all are invited I'm to come over to my house too. <laughs> when you have that party, we'd love to come. June first, my house. Right up my alley. Really, June. First? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the Hallmarkies are coming. <laughs> okay. Well, perfect you know, calendar. I do know that you said that this script, when you read it, it really resonated with you very deeply, mm -hmm. didn't it? How mm -hmm. so? Well, you know what? You can't predetermine what's going to happen in your life ever. You know, life throws you curveballs, and you have to just live in the moment, and you have to trust the universe that all the pieces of the puzzle are going to eventually come together. And Try not to live in the past because you get depressed. Try not to live in the, the future because you get very anxious. Mm. Just be in the moment. And that was what I was trying right. to tell my daughter. You know, you can't predetermine what's going to happen here. And ultimately, it's a Hallmark movie, so you know there's a happy ending. Well, right. That's what we're counting on. But that's, I think that's some great wisdom right there. Thank yeah, you for sharing I think that. So. It's very true. In your own experience, have you ever had to kind of try to choose between two different lives? Oh, I have. You know, as actresses, we're asked to, you know, travel the world, sure. you know, and every once in a while you get something that's, like, so special. And back in 1998, when I read Kevin Williamson's Dawson's oh Creek goodness. script, 
I'm like, this is the most brilliant writing I have ever read, but it's going to take you away to the East Coast. Are you prepared to, you know, move with your husband and your two dogs and your cat to the, to the East Coast? And ultimately, that was the very best decision I ever made because I was there for six years. And of course, we all know the success of Dawson's Creek. Yeah, and absolutely. What a great show. As soon as you read yeah. that script, you knew though, didn't you? Oh, oh Kevin Williamson. That yeah. picture. That's We're, a great wow. shot. You know, there's been a lot of talk, Mary mm -hmm. Margaret, about a reboot. There's so many reboots. I'm just, you know, oh, there's you and Katie Holmes. <laughs> uh, Is it gonna happen? I love my Katie. I just went skiing with her, and we were talking about that. <laughs> oh, and? And, yeah, we went skiing. <laughs> and we're and we were talking about, about that. that. And Well played. I think she would be up for the idea. <laughs> and you would be. Yeah, we're all texting about it. Oh so, gosh, they have to do it. We'd love that. Wouldn't that be special? It do you hear be. that? Wouldn't that be special? I have a feeling there might be something yeah, brewing. Am I, is it just me? You oh, could tell us. I what? could tell you, but then I might have to kill you. Okay. Right. That no. would work out <laughs> so well. We have a show to do, Mary. Margaret, you there can't you go. Do that. Thank you so much oh, for joining sweet. us. Thank a you. Feeling of Home premieres Thank this Saturday, May 11th at 9, 8 p.m. Central, right here on Hallmark Channel.